All right, welcome to our latest Swamp Cast. We are here on the floor of whatever the name of the stadium is. IFAA. IQRPP. So TIAA Bank Field. Yeah, we'll have to get that right in our, our stories. Where Florida fell to Georgia 24-17. Uh, Robbie, this game was all about the start. Florida didn't yeah. look like a team that was Very ready to undisciplined play. penalties. Uh, you know, the third and one, the false start on the open drive. Yep. You convert the third down there, you score a touchdown, who knows what happens. And, you know, just a lot of things that happened in that first half, but you said, okay, well, they're only down 10. Yeah. It's like they're out of the game, but, uh, you know, Coach Mullen said, we really, our goal was to get a lead. We didn't think Georgia plays well when they fall behind. Uh, but we never found that out yeah. because uh, they came out and they just, in the second half, the third quarter, continued to play well. Florida couldn't, again, Florida, no running game at all. No. Um, you can't can keep winning games that way without yeah. a running game. You know, Pat, too, they did what they had to do with Swift in the first half. They, yeah. they stuffed him, but then they couldn't get off the field on third down. They made Fromm look like, you know, the greatest thing around, and there was no pressure on him. Not, had, anybody could have picked that secondary apart with the time he had. Well, the, and he did it. The touchdown that ended up being the game-winning touchdown, I could have thrown. Yeah. You know. He was so open because somebody busted the coverage. Yeah, we were just talking about this. That uh, It's kind of funny when you look at all the talk was about Grenard and Zuniga coming back. But it was, don't forget Larry Cager also coming back for Georgia who had been hurt. And he was a huge difference. He had a game. career day, Pat. I mean, he, he was unstoppable when... When Fromm needed a first down, he's the guy he looked to, and he came through for him. Yeah, and Jake Fromm was very good. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a game that I think is going to stay with people because it's a loss to Georgia. It's a loss for a lot of their dreams are gone now. They pointed out that the East is still up in the air. Nobody won the East tonight. He's no, absolutely they did. Right, You're right. But they probably will win the East because they get Missouri at home, and all they got to do is beat them and Auburn. And A&M. Well, they could beat A&M. It's not over yet. Yeah. It's not over yet. Well, but, but they're closing in. Now. Yeah. Um, so, you, you know, Trask, I thought, in the fourth quarter played great. Uh, the last drive was, I know people are going to complain because it was, um, took seven or nine minutes or whatever it was, and then they didn't have a lot of time left. But, um, two you know, touchdown passes what back you, when they you, needed them. Yeah. What are you going to do? Are you going to say, let's just throw the ball in the end zone and hope, hope for it? Or are you going to try to run your offense and get, get the it score? down the field? And then the kickoff was a weird thing. It was kick nothing. it in the end zone. No Either clock kick runs. In the end zone or kick 20. it on the side kick, but don't kick it halfway yeah. and, and give them the ball in even better field position. And then that third down play was like the last dagger. Yeah. Uh, a typical of the game. They find a way to execute on third down. The thing is, they could have had a great fourth quarter comeback, right. but the defense did not make a stop. No. And there, that was a tight end, Eli Wolf, who was at Tennessee last year, yeah. transferred to Georgia. Hadn't done a ton. But that was a huge play, and again, he beat uh, a corner or, yeah. or a safety, I guess. But still, a safety should be able to stay with him. Didn't do a very good job. It was just one of those nights for Florida. Are, are they seven points behind Georgia in the big scheme of things? It like feels Mullen, like, yeah, Mullen said they are. That's they are, right. but it, it kind of feels like they're even further behind because they keep losing this game. you got to win this game yeah. if you're going to catch Georgia. You can't catch Georgia and not win this game. So uh, certainly disappointing for Florida. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of crowd they get next week with Vanderbilt coming to town, noon game. Can't expect it to be good, but they got They have to win that game. Yeah. You got to win that game. Win and, the then, next and then see what happens. I mean, right now you're a little playing a little bit for bowl position, but you never know what could happen. I mean, somebody knocks off two teams, knock off Georgia. Yeah. I heard tonight that the Gators are looking good for the Orange Bowl, perhaps. Yeah. You know, there is so that. So wouldn't you take that? I would take trip that. Trip to Miami. I would take that. This is all we avoid the Citrus Bowl. That's all I care about. God. All right. Until next time, we'll come to you and we'll preview that Vandy game. When we do, this guy's still going to be backing up over here, okay? <laughs> but uh, until then, beep, Pat, beep. Pat Dooley and Robbie Andrew from TIAA Bank Stadium. Field. 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 Yeah, from there. See ya.